Well, I decided to add in my own custom splash text as well, as you can see. Anyways, we're back on Minecraft Western Edition with a new panorama. And in today's video, as you can see by the new panorama, which is absolutely and utterly seamless, completely seamless, nothing wrong here. Today, in this video, I'm going to be testing out my top 10 favorite shaders and rating them from worst to best. Now, worst does not mean like they're the worst shader in the world. They just mean they're the worst of the best, in my opinion, because these are my favorite shaders. I mean, my worst might be your best and my best might be your worst, but isn't that the same thing? Whatever. Anyways, we're actually, we're going to be testing out shaders today and I'm really excited to get started. All right, here we are. In a brand new world, and oh, I forgot to take off my suit skin from you. You know what? J you're just gonna have to live with my suit skin. I'm sorry. So what I have here is a series of tests for the shaders, so uh, to see what they look like with the shaders on. So we have ladders, we have vines, leaves, glass, uh, random objects. Like I just put in a jack o' lantern. We've got moss. We've got um, entities. We've got adult entities and baby entities. Um, cow and zombie, and then we have grass. Plus, we have water to look at, because water does change with shaders. We have, and lots of various different light blocks that we will uh, definitely spread out a little bit more so we can see um, if they have, like, different colors and things like that, which would be pretty cool. So, we're going to start out by, we're going to start out turning on our shaders. The first shaders we have here are BSL. Now, this, these are one of my favorite, but we're going to try them out with performance. So, note that I'm only doing a single player test for this and not like any multiplayer servers like Eternos or like actual paid paid servers or anything like that. We're just doing single player. Um and then I will also list my specifications for my computer on screen. As you can see here, it's a GTX 1650. Um I'll list other stuff here on the screen. All right. So, BSL is very bright and um it doesn't give you a very high frame rate. So as you can see, it's quite laggy. Um, I'm just gonna like when you load in all the chunks, it's all right. But when you are just running around and loading in chunks, it's very laggy. Um, it's definitely more for uh, definitely more for graphics than it is for performance. Now again, I'm not rating these off of off of like oh is this this one's high quality so it's the best or this one's really good performance so it's the best. I'm just kind of taking the average of those and seeing. Okay, which one performs the best, but also gives us the best quality. So that's what I'm trying to look for right now. Um, I'm not looking for one of the two. I'm looking for both of them. So as you can see, the water here is pretty um, pretty basic. It's kind of wavy. Um, it's not super fast. And as you can see, like the water flow down here is kind of chill. Um, it would be cool if I had like, different speeds or, any or something like that. But that would definitely take up a lot of CPU power. So as you can see, ladders are basically normal. Um... Grass looks normal, but as you can see, we have some light shade. Um, of course, you can you can change the settings of these shaders in like their settings menus. They do have they do have settings menus um, right over right over here. Shader options. They give you the stuff that that you can you can do. Those are customizable, so you can turn down the quality. You can turn on like the amount of light it gives off. But as you can see right there, it's a little bit laggy. It's not even giving me 60 FPS right now. So these are pretty good for like these are pretty good for kind of like like shots and stuff and like taking pictures and things which is what i use them for uh instead of more just gameplay like playing with them so that's what i use them for typically now as, as you can see it has that like lens flare thing which i really like that's a really nice detail i don't know if any of my other shaders have that we'll have to see but i do think that is really nice detail so as you can see here the mob shadows are pretty normal actually i don't think i have mob shadows on do i yeah i should probably turn those on um, so, as you can see, Entity Shadows don't really show up. Um, I think if we p maybe put one out in the sunlight, we can probably test that out. So, as we just watch these zombies burn over here, let's take a look at some of our other ones. So, leaves, as you can see, they kind of bounce around a little bit, which I really like. Some shaders don't have that, and that's fine, but I do like that detail. You can't really tell when you're far away, and you're, like, kind of moving around. But when you get up close to them, it's a really nice detail. You're just kind of walking by. It's really cool. Um, glass doesn't really change in my opinion it gets shiny sort of like as you can see that little shine there it gets kind of shiny but nothing really else it's not very exciting it's just kind of glass um it is very clear though um i'm not sure if it's that clear normally um as you can see with like objects like this nothing changes moss is the same i just like the moss block um so as you can see with our light sources light is very very bright so 
Um, I don't think that BSL changes the color of anything. Uh, we'll test it out. So a lantern like this gives out that light. Um, oh, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. I think sh I think these shaders uh, do do a little bit of coloring, but not that much coloring. So uh, that could that could definitely be a cool detail that we could have. Anyways, let's move on to the next shader. The next shaders are Builder's Quality of Life. I really like these ones. Um, these are the ones I just normally use, kind of when I'm just playing. Um, these and SFLP I just normally use, but we'll have to take a look at them and see, uh, and see if we like them. So, as you can see, the water catches your attention really quickly. So, the water catches your attention, um, because it's super duper duper wavy and it's super fast, which I'm not totally a fan of. I feel like if it could wave a little bit slower, like actual real water, that would be nice. If we just make it just the source here... It's a little bit chiller, but running water is pretty quick, and even the source block is pretty quick when it's running water, so that's kind of weird. Not my favorite, but that's alright. So, uh, lighting here doesn't change when it's daytime, as you can see. It's not, like, super duper bright. It does give off a little bit of glow, but not that much. Um, as you can see, there's no shadows or anything like that. It doesn't do, like, the, the tree shadow things, which is part of what makes it so not laggy. I'm, I'm getting, like, a steady 60 FPS right now, 70 FPS. Um, with a pretty good processor, pretty good graphics card. So let's look at the, uh, ladders. So the ladders don't really change that much. Um, like, like, it's literally the exact same. Like, none of the leaves or anything change. The leaves don't move. Glass is the same. However, it does get blurry, which I think is really, really cool. So, um, like, stained glass. Like, this glass is fine, but, like, stained glass is blurry. Um, so it kind of has, like, that blur effect, which I really like. Like, I built a big, uh, big tower the other day, which is one of the towers you saw in my panorama. And it looks so cool with the foggy glass. I really like that effect. Um, doesn't do anything with objects like these. And I do think that sometimes entity shadows can get messed up. However, I don't think this is, th this shader is one of the, one of those cases. So it's nighttime, and as you can see, the light color doesn't really change so um as you can see the daytime is a little bit different i really 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 love that effect with the um with the where the sun goes down it turns pink and then the moon that's why my uh panorama had that seam in it is because of that though so i wouldn't recommend like taking panoramic pictures with it because for for that exact reason so let's put out two different colored things so we've got uh that we've got the torch so I'm pretty sure for for this, it just makes it darker, and then this one lighter. So I don't think it really changes or varies that much at all. Let's move on to the next shader. And our next shader is Chocapic? Chuck Chocapic? I don't know exactly how to say it, so please don't make fun of me. <laughs> please don't make fun of me. But um, these are also pretty, pretty light ones, like very light ones. Wait, what? Like, wait, what? Oh, did I turn- did I turn them off? Or is this the shaders? Is this the shaders? No, this isn't- this isn't the shaders. Hey, okay, let's hopefully try this again. Um, maybe. Maybe they'll work? I think they're working, cause I saw- cause the Mojang Studios thingy is. Uh, is this the shaders? <laughs> okay, well, I, I guess these won't work for me for some reason. I shader options. That's that's it. All right. Well, let's just go to Eben shaders then, or Eben or whatever it is. I don't know how to say it, so we're just gonna. I don't know how to like pronounce like ninety percent of these. So let's move on. Okay. So these are actually really cool. I like these. They're not my favorite though, but they are very heavy. So as you can see, the sun becomes circular, which looks pretty cool. The clouds are also nice. Um, I think this is the first one so far that's actually changed the clouds. Maybe BSL did. I just probably didn't notice it. Um, so as you can see, nothing- Ooh. Oh! So yeah. As you can see, vines change a little bit. Uh, these are really wavy. Really, really wavy! Um, and so the one problem with the vines is that since they're so wavy, sometimes they go back into the block, which is not weird looking at all. That's, like, super not weird, right? <laughs> um... So yeah, leaves wiggle a bit too much, and vines wiggle a bit too much. Glass doesn't change at all, uh, at, like, at all, um, except for the edges get a little bit more- No, they don't change. Glass doesn't change, nothing changes with that. 
Uh, nothing changed. It was just ran this random pumpkin mm -hmm. I put here. Um, I feel like the like I feel like this weird shading on top is one of the reasons that it's not one of my favorites. Like it's one of my favorites, but I it's not my favorite because of that weird weird thing. Like it's not too much of an annoyance when you're far away, but when you're close up and like zoomed in and stuff, it's really weird. I don't know what it is. Um, I really like the shading. It's it's all right. It's giving me 36 FPS right now. Like 46. There we go. So as you can see, entity shadows are good. Wh what happened to the zombies? Did I did I mess them up? Oh, now we have two adults. I want a baby. There we go. So as you can see, entity shadows are pretty much fine. They don't really matter that much. So if we set the time to night, let's go over here and test if the light changes. So as you can see, um, I, I guess... So these do really, really, really re little right, little light. So I guess, I guess lights like torches don't do as much in this shaders. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does a lot. Um, so they're like really bright, like insanely bright. Like that thing looks like it's about to catch on fire, but it doesn't provide much light, which I do not like at all. Um, that does look like a retro wave background though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's move on to Oceano. Now these are some high end shaders. These are not. These are like. For, like, my... Not exactly my PC. These are kind of for the next generation of, of my PC. Because my PC can handle this. But as you can see, it's having a hard time handling it. And it, we're only running at 32 FPS max right now. Uh, let, I, I'm pretty sure, like, the max for this that I've ever gotten is, like, maybe 40 FPS. So it's very, very high uh, intensity. As you can see, the water, you can kind of see it. But I do not like it. Because it looks, like, just regular... Until you, like, walk in it and find out, oh, it's actually water. Like, I don't like that. I think they need to make it a little bit more watery looking. Like, if you get far away, it's still hard to see. It's it's still hard to see. It doesn't, like, turn blue because of the sky and stuff. I do like the sky. It has stars. Um, they're kind of random blotches, but that's cool. As you can see, we have just a little bit of kind of wiggly, which, not enough. Like, even was too much... This one's too little, and then I think that BSL was just the perfect amount. So, I like what BSL did with that. Um, as you can see, glass doesn't really change, except for kind of the wobbly you get. So, when you go across, the glass gets wobbly, and I really like that effect. If if the, um, uh, I don't know. So, I like the foggy effect, but I also like the really clear effect. I feel like if, the, if this um, effect with the wobbly could get... Uh, implemented with the uh, with that fog effect from Builders Quality of Life, that would be insanely cool. As you can see, also, um, as you can see, you, they have like an aura around them. They have like a glowy. Ooh, that's cool when you zoom. That's a really nice zoom. So they have that aura around them. When you go behind the stained glass, it's no more. I really like that. It's like shaded. It kind of shades you from the light, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, uh, let's make the time day again. So as you can see, uh, entity shadows don't change that much. So that's kind of a recurring, like a running theme in this, in this thing. Um, we do have shadows behind them, but I think this does a really good job with the shadows. Um, almost as good as BSL, just not quite. It's still just a little bit kind of glitchy sometimes. So that's pretty cool. Let's move on to the next shaders, which are these and these might be the highest in shaders i actually have i'm not quite sure yet but we'll have to test them out i've actually never tried these before and oh oh no yeah it's not responding so i'm assuming these are i'm assuming these are high end uh yeah no my computer hates these absolutely hates these uh we're getting like 30 fps max right now and we're at like 28 FPS. This is ba this is basically turned into a killing my computer episode. But what are those little thingies? Those little. As you can see, the shadows are really nice. Um, the sun's bright. Light sources are bright. It's kind of it's it's a little bit overkill in my opinion. Um, in in so overkill that OBS is having a hard time filming them. So why not add to the chaos? Why not add to the chaos, right? Let's add this resource pack. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now because it's so bad. Let's add this resource pack. Because this is a 128-bit resource pack. Or like a 64-bit 
resource pack that's going to make this thing look absolutely amazing, hopefully. And yeah, as you can see, it's terrifyingly realistic. Oh my gosh. Imagine it. Imagine this with the, with the, oh no. So it actually seems smoother for some reason with the texture pack. But imagine this with the 128-bit one. Like, this is pretty darn realistic. This is the 64-bit one, I think. I think it is. But yeah, look at how weird, weirdly realistic this is Any anymore. So let's set the time to night and see how that looks. Ooh, that's weird. I don't like that. Like, is that... I don't like this at all. I don't like night, because I feel like... Like, oh, that's terrifying. It just engulfs... It just engulfs everything. Um, yeah, it makes me feel like, like a deer on the road when the you're just, like, shining their headlights on them. Like, you know that feeling? It's just weird. And the next shooters, we have our Seuss Renewed, and I think they're a little bit less intense. Um, I don't know if they work with the resource pack. We'll have to see. Eh, it's not responding. Okay, there we go. These are a little bit less intense, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, these are definitely less intense. We're getting, like, 45 FPS. So, even with this crazy realistic resource pack, these are really, really good shaders. Um, I'm going to turn off this resource pack so that we can not have that. Um, OBS is still having a difficult time, but I think with these shaders it'll be alright. Um, so, let me close Discord real quick. So, as you can see here, these are pretty nice. Um, they're giving me like 42 FPS right now. OBS is having a really difficult time, but that's okay. Um, so as you can see, the lighting's pretty nice. Um, the, the leaves are kind of moving around. The vines don't do anything. I feel like Seuss, being such a high-end shader, they could do something like that. And it wouldn't mess up stuff too much, like with the vines. As you can see, my face looks amazing. Um, let's see here. Entity shadows go behind them now, because that's how it works. And... The lighting is not too much. I the, I feel like these are really good uh, with the lighting. They're not a good balance. Like I don't. I feel like Builder's Quality of Life are a good balance between stuff or something like that. But these are really balanced with the lighting. So let's turn it to. Oopsies! There goes the jack o' lantern. Let's turn it to nighttime. And let's go look over here at the two torches I placed down. So as you can see, this one doesn't do anything. It just kind of exists. And this one actually does stuff. So I feel like with the cooler lighting, it's kind of hard to see the cooler lighting with, um, like the... So, let's look at SFLP. These are, like, for low-end low end computers, definitely. These are, like, the lowest-end shaders, but they're actually really good. So, these are ones I would just normally use. So, as you can see, they're a lot clearer. They don't do the shadows. Um, <clears throat> they are very bright, and that for that, they still give... They give me... Uh, as you can see here, I'm getting 120 FPS right now, so that's pretty good, and my max um, that my monitor can handle is 144. So we're definitely getting some performance right now. So as you can see, it looks pretty... The water is a lot better. It's not it's not as good as some of the other ones, but it's a lot better than normal. It doesn't do anything to the glass except make the sky look weird. And as you can see, that little outline with the grass is all messed up. Now... I think I can change this with some settings, but as you can see, the shadows are weird as well. They don't really work. That's one of the that's one of the things about making a low end shader is as you can see those little lines right there. It's kind of hard to see them, but those little lines kind of come. There's outlines around everything, which doesn't look too good. So they're pretty nice, but Builder's quality of life, I feel like, even though they're lower performance, they are better than these, um, just because of the well quality of life of them they don't have those weird outlines and stuff like that so i do like these but they're just not exactly the best so we have two more this, these are soldiers vibrant shaders what i was going to say is i they're not my favorite because they're really 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 glitchy like as you can see with the weird shadows it's just doing weird stuff i don't like that it's it's messed up like what what are we getting that shadow from and why is it changing when i move like it's kind of weird it's a weird effect, and then with the older ones I had, um, when the grass moved, um, the shadow would also move in a really weird position, and it would look all chunky and weird, and I don't have any recordings of it, but when I did that, they did weird stuff, and it just kind of transitioned not smooth at all, so I didn't like that. 
And our last ones for today are Vanilla Plus. Um, now, Vanilla Plus, I don't actually remember these, but I'm pretty sure they're, like, high quality, not high performance. I have a lot of high quality, not high performance ones, just because I like how they look. So, V Plus is a really, really good balance, in my opinion, um, of, of, like, quality and, um, performance. Because, as you can see, we're getting, like, 60 FPS right now. Um, the leaves move... The water's not great, but it's water. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Um, as you can see, it kind of shields us from the sun, just like those other those other Seuss ones. I the clouds are square, but they're actually cool looking. Like they're actually cool looking squares. And as you can see, we don't have any like weird outlines or anything. Um, so we have like this pumpkin, which is just normal. I don't know. Why I started talking about the pumpkin. But as you can see, when you zoom into something bright, everything around you gets darker. And then when you zoom into something dark, everything around you gets brighter. Which I think is an insanely cool effect. I don't know how they did that, but it's kind of cool. Now, god rays um, aren't really that existent in the shaders. But as you can see, if we get in kind of the right position, you can sort of see you can sort of see the god rays behind the clouds. Like, there's sort of... Yeah, like, right there, you can sort of see them. Now, they have the shading, which I think looks really, really cool. And I'm also getting 41 FPS right now. So normally if I were playing survival with this, um, like, I can walk around getting 48 FPS. You know, this is pretty good, right? Walking away from the sun, getting 41 FPS for some reason. I guess it just really likes the number 41. Uh, like, I have an uh, sh entity shadow of myself. I can see myself. It looks really good. So, BSL, I'm going to give a 14 out of 20 because... I like the shadows and everything, the water is cool, but I feel like they could have added a little bit more detail and still made it better performance, because the performance wasn't too great. So 14 out of 20 for BSL. Builder's quality of life was actually really good. Um, they were kind of a balance as well as V+. V+, and Builder's quality of life were really, really balanced in the way that they uh, deal with performance and quality. So, I'm going to give Builder's Quality of Life a 16 out of 20 for Chakapic or Chakapic or whatever it is. They didn't turn on, so we're going to give them a 0 out of 20 because they didn't even work. I'm, it might just be because I'm stupid, but I feel like I downloaded them again and they didn't work, so I'm not sure about that. Eben shaders or Eben shaders, um, they were pretty nice. They weren't the best performance. I feel like they'd be good for, like, for, like, camera. But they had that weird glare on, the on like, blocks with that weird lines. I didn't like that at all. So I'm going to have to give them a 13 out of 20. Oceano shaders were definitely for quality. And I feel like, the mo like most consumers probably have, like, a GTX 1050 or something, like, mid-range like that. And I feel like people with good graphics card would be like, oh yeah, Oceano is the best. But, uh, my graphics card isn't an RTX. So I feel like for m most consumers, Oceano would be kind of a little bit much. It's just not made for, perfor for performance. And that's okay. For the graphics though, um, I still think they managed to do good with the performance and the graphics. They just weren't that balanced. So I'm gonna have to give them a... 16 out of 20. The Su the Seuss PTGI HRR Test 2.1. Okay, that's pretty obviously, pretty obviously for higher-end computers. So if I was a higher-end computer, that's pretty darn good. I'm going to have to give those a 17 out of 20. Um, I'm not really counting performance that much for those for those shaders cuz they're definitely not made for that. They're made for per they're made for quality. Um, so that, for their quality, they were really good. I'm gonna have to give them a 17 out of 20. They were still in beta testing, so they weren't the best. But, I think, once they're finally done, they'll be great. So, Seuss Renewed were a little bit, uh, a little bit lower end than Seuss PTGI HR Test 2.1. I don't know why I'm saying the entire name. But, Seuss Renewed, I thought was really good. Um, it had all right, it had all right performance. Um, and it's kind of like BSL. It's just a little bit more quality, and it still has better performance for some reason. So, 
I think that I'm going to have to say they get a 15 out of 20. Now, SFLP, they're kind of, they're definitely for lower end computers, but they're kind of, they're kind of messy. They're kind of wonky. I don't really understand how they work. And the shadows are messed up and there's lines in the middle of the screen. It's kind of, kind of a mess. So I'm going to have to give them a 10 out of 20. For Sildur's Vibrant Shaders, I used to not like them at all. Not at all, but they have redeemed themselves pretty well. It's still a little bit buggy, but I like it a lot. So I'm going to give them a 17, uh, an 18 out of 20. And for Vanilla Plus, I really, really liked Vanilla Plus. Really liked it. Um, and I'm not being like, I'm not saying like, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I really liked Vanilla Plus. They had a good balance of performance and quality, and I think that's what kind of did it for me. So I'm going to give Vanilla Plus a 19 out of 20, which is the highest score we've had so far. So that concludes it. Vanilla Plus are my favorite shaders out of my 10 favorite shaders. And my least favorite out of all of those were SFLP. I The performance was great. But it just, I feel like they could have done more and had the same, if not just a little less good performance. So, that's all for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed me just reviewing shaders, I guess. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!